there's always going to be at least one free guy coming in. This particular play, though, it was Christian Wilkins. You can see he never actually gets blocked. He just goes around everybody and just gets an instant sack. For the cheapest, fastest, most reliable muck coins in the market, check out my coin sponsors at AOEAH.com and use discount code MONEY for 3% off. Link in the description below. Welcome back, Money Team. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff the man. She's always got another top five video for you guys today. Today, I'm going to be going over top five defenses. That's right. Top five blitzes, pass defenses, you name it. And they can all be found in the same playbook, the Miami Dolphins or the New York Giants. All these blitzes we found in either one of those two defensive team playbooks. Woo! As always, if you guys want to see more videos like this, hit the like button. Let me know in the comments section. Other than that, going to get right into the video. Now, the first blitz is out of the 3-4 odd. And the thing about this particular blitz is you can really use it in any play in this formation. You can really use it from cover three cover four cover two whatever particular coverage you like you can have success with this blitz in this setup me personally i think cover two zone is one of the best plays and that's why the pinch dog two press is definitely my favorite you can see i've called it almost 2,000 times and i only average about 3.4 yards per play against it now as far as the setup goes you're really going to be mostly setting this up with the y or a triangle button you're going to pretty much want to base align and show blitz that's going to be the most important part you can see when i do that it completely changes how this formation's defense looks now the last step would be to hit the d-pad to the right and then down on the right stick which is the blitz all which will basically send all your linebackers after the um, you know basically into a pass rush formation after that you just want to guess pass which is always a good thing pretty much every blitz if you're going to be blitzing guess pass because guessing pass does a number of things it'll essentially make sure that they don't bite on any play actions it'll go straight for the quarterback it'll just make your pass rush that much better if you guess pass when you're you know essentially sending a blitz like this so to do that rbr1 up on the right stick to guess pass and that's pretty much all you got to do now after that there's really a couple things i can do here number one if you really want to send a full blitz you can leave the blitz just like this if you want to though on this particular blitz you can actually drop one of these defensive ends typically the one over the running back into a uh, a vertical hook which is going to be essentially um you know just making this guy drop back you'll still get pressure if you do that but if you really want to send the extra heat you can just send the extra guy after that, it's my job to basically stand up and cover the middle. I only have four guys in zone, but essentially my job is going to be roaming the middle. So whether it's the receiver on the left, the receiver on the slot on the right, I really have to be there for both of them uh, and essentially just cut off whichever one comes into my area first. But you're going to want to stay home before you drop back. You can see we get super crazy pressure. Even with six guys blitzing, we get a sack. Number one, the five guys inside will essentially bring in the five linemen to a point where they all just kind of suck in and let these outside edge rushers both in free even though the running back is blocking he can't block them both a lot of times he won't block neither a lot of times he will he won't get around quick enough to block anybody the second most important thing is what i'm doing as a user you have to be able to either engage and release quickly so you can get back into your zone or ultimately a lot of times you don't even have to engage a lot of times you can just stand in front of the lineman and then pull away and he'll basically just watch you before he goes and double teams the nose or the defensive end the next play is going to be out of the four three even six one as far as the setup goes once again you can use just about any play in this particular uh formation me personally though i once again i use cover four quarters for run defense and cover two for pass defense and outside running the setup is going to be very similar as well though there are some additional steps you're going to want to bring up your wide triangle menu again your coverage adjustments and you're going to do the exact same setup where you're going to base align and then hit wide triangle again and show blitz doing this is going to be a little bit different than the cover four there'll be an additional step when it comes to the cover four but ultimately this is going to be the look it brings your linebackers in tight once again it has them in a position where they can make a play then you're going to hit the d-pad to the left and down to pinch your defensive line then you hit the d-pad to the left and up on the right stick to slant them outside that's going to be important when it comes to this edge pressure once again is those outside rushers after that you're going to basically want to blitz all your linebackers which is going to be d-pad to the right and down on the right stick again so that's going to be your look this is pretty much it at this point after this you really have a couple options you could either bring this guy down do the exact same move where you press and release or a lot of times in shotgun looks when i know the running back um, is the guy who's going to be uncovered you can also bring in this guy here and basically you know just come in tight to the line and then before you drop away this is actually either one of these steps are really good but at the end of the day 
the last thing to do is going to be guessing pass once again, RB or R1 uh, up on the right stick because that will get you the pressure as, as quickly as possible. Now, as far as this setup here, we'll get pressure from the same two guys, the outside linebacker or the inside linebacker. If I use this guy here, I'll get pressure from one of the outside linebackers. It's really that simple. Like I said, I personally like to do this because a lot of times that linebacker coming clean straight up the A-gap is going to be best. So, like I said, I'm just going to come in quick like this, maybe engage, drop out. You can see once again, the A-gap linebacker takes on the block and we have a very easy sack from the outside linebacker. Next up, I have a blitz out of the nickel 245. This particular play is something I put out early in the year. It's still one of my favorite blitzes. It's the nickel blitz 2. Now, as far as this blitz goes, all you really have to do is bring this linebacker over and put him on a blitz, put him on a manual blitz. My user is going to be the other linebacker. I'm going to put him on a blitz. Then I'm just going to guess pass and I'm going to do the exact same thing where I basically just walk back the second the play starts. You'll see how once again we have a six on six blitz but the fact that I stay home makes the quarterback either get the ball out right away or he's going to have to take a sack. Now this blitz can be done a couple of different ways. You can do a five man blitz or you can do a six man blitz. The six man blitz is definitely going to be more effective but the five man blitz is pretty good. The five man blitz is going to be basically usering this linebacker bring him down over this gap and basically putting him on blitz guessing pass that's pretty much all I have to do this here will give me a five-man pressure on six blockers but ultimately a lot of times uh, this can get picked up with the additional blocker you'll see here a lot of times his defensive end comes in free he gets chop block which you can see he gets up and he gets that second effort which basically forces a bad pass next up we have the nickel 245 double a gap and this is another series of blitzes that can really be done out of any play in this formation it really depends on what you like the nickel dog 2 is a pretty decent and play uh, there's a couple of you know decent ones like the the buck zone three would be a, a good option but i ultimately like to use the mid blitz this particular setup is pretty simple you just have to make sure that you align these guys to a point where they don't give any free releases right off the line. That would probably be the most important thing. This is a pretty obvious look, though. When your opponent sees this look, they're going to know you're sending an all-out man blitz, so that's probably one of the downsides. But ultimately, there's a couple of different setups you can do. One of them is blitzing this safety who's on the running back and bringing him down to the line of scrimmage. I typically like to spread my uh, defensive line as well, which is D-pad to the left and then up on the left stick, which is basically just going to give these outside guys a little bit of a better angle. But this is pretty much it. You could also slant your defensive line outside, but I don't really feel that that helps too much. Ultimately, guessing pass is always important, and this is pretty much going to be the play. This will either fold in the offensive line once again, giving me an outside free rusher like it did there, or you can see that there's a couple other ways. Once again, the quarterback is getting the ball out pretty quickly. Like I was saying, this particular series of plays can be done out of any play in this formation. All you have to do is basically blitz all the linebackers. You can see you have the exact same six-man front. This formation is especially deadly uh, when it comes to um, you know attacking formations like this that are basically empty backfield formations. When you can see an empty backfield formation like this, all you really have to do is bring in a defensive outside linebacker, either this one or the one on the other side. Uh, just bring them in real tight to the line like this and then drop back once the play starts. This puts me in a perfect position to drop back on 85, which is essentially my pressure anyway. And you can see, even though it was a short pass that was completed, you can see the defensive end off the outside came in free. Doing this setup will have a lot of success against empty backfield. As you can see, the opposite defensive and slash outside linebacker comes in free, uh, although ultimately the quarterback recognized a short route and got the ball out. That's still instant pressure that's going to end up in sacks against most players. And then last but not least, out of the dime 236 Sam, something that also in most playbooks will be called the dollar, uh, you have a very good cover two blitz called the DB Fire 2. Now, this last play is another cover two play. I, like I said, I mostly like cover two plays. The setup's pretty simple. All you have to do is press your DBs. That's going to be wire triangle, then down on the left stick. Then that's pretty much it. You just have to basically put your user on a blitz, guess pass, and then drop back. There are a few more things you can do, though, to make this pressure even better by basically spraying your defensive line or even go as far as QB containing your defensive line, which is going to be the R1 button twice or the R, uh, RB button if you're on Xbox. And this is pretty much it. All I have to do is, like I said, press and release on an offensive lineman. Here I actually got caught up a little bit longer than I wanted to, but you can see the pressure comes in from a lot of different places as we get a sack. Typically the pressure on this play is going to come from one of the outside cornerbacks, and I think if the play would have continued long enough, it probably would have. But you can see, as I release from number 60 there, there's always going to be at least one free guy coming in. This particular play, though, it was Christian Wilkins. You can see he never actually gets blocked. He just goes around 
to everybody and just gets an instant sack. So we'll go ahead and set that up one more time. Like I said, I could use either one of these guys. On this play, I'll go ahead and I'll switch it up and I'll use the guy over the running back. Typically, it's better to use the guy over the running back because you can almost pull in uh, him as a blocker a lot of times, giving one of the cornerbacks a free release. As you can see here, we get pressure from a lot of different people. Two guys get in free that time to get the end stack, including the outside linebacker. So a very good blitz and a very good play. I'm going to go ahead and end the video there. If you guys want to see more videos like this uh, in the future, more top five videos, run plays, uh, you know, regular defenses, not necessarily blitzes, hit the like button. Let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching. Man, my shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.